Sorry, you guys. I didn't have the mic on. Right? Yes. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews. And we are on vacation right now, but I want to touch down with y'all to let y'all know what is in my shopping cart as far as Amazon goes. Black Friday. So, first off, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. I hope y'all enjoying y'all time with y'all family and friends. Right now, we are with our family. We are in Florida at my mother-in-law house, and we are having fun, right? Yeah. So, products that we are looking to buy this Black Friday on Amazon. All right, we have a humidifier that is on Black Friday sale, $69, and it is smart. So, a smart humidifier that can be controlled by Alexa. We also have a Govi uh, LED smart light. We have a dash cam, 87, and I think that is the sales price, so yeah, that's 87. All right, so one thing I do want to tell y'all about is this Black & Decker 20 volt max cordless drill combo kit four tools for hundred and fifty dollars I'm gonna let you know if you are on Amazon and you looking at that I think it's a better deal on Home Depot so when I go what's in my Home Depot cart I will show you all that deal they have a Ryobi two hundred dollar tool kit so and that $200 tool kit is what I use to actually build my basement. You get a little bit more tools in it, but yeah. So this Black & Decker, I just put here so I can actually let y'all know that there are cheaper tool kits to get out there. And then we have the flex mount, which uh, for the garage people out there, that is working on their garage or looking to do some upgrades to their garage. They have this flex mount is four, oh, flex E mount, sorry. It's four by eight overhead garage storage rack. All right. So basically you can put this on the top of your garage and all the totes that you have, well, not on top of your garage, but on the ceiling of your garage. You can put all your, Topes, yep. uh, storage, uh, tires, or anything on top of there. Also, like I told y'all before, I want the Echo Dot to be in multiple rooms in the house. So right now they have the Echo Dot third generation 2018, which was what, five years ago? 2018? Yeah, five years ago. Wait, no, four years ago. Six. Wait, what's that? 2022. Okay. Four years ago. Wait, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We're in 2022. Oh, okay. He's right. <laughs> That's why he goes to school and I'm not in school no more. So, all right. So the Echo Diet, which was 2018, four years ago, is about 14 bucks. But you, you could say, I'm a, hey, Alexa. Like you usually do every day when you come home from school. What do you say? I say, hey Alexa, TV on or something. And the TV turns on and life has been easy with a electronic or uh, a AI made. And also they have here Echo Auto uh, first generation which you can use Alexa in your car. So I wanna try this because sometimes my wife come home and you know, we have iPhones and we'll get into this later, iPhone and stuff. But we have iPhones so in order for us to open the garage, we can say, hey Siri, but the only issue with that is you have to be on Wi-Fi. Oh, and Siri came on while I was talking. So I will not say her name again, but if you say Siri, then... Hey Siri. No, it only works on my voice. Okay, right here they have a Sony camera. They have a GoPro. So I am looking into getting a new GoPro. The GoPro I have is the GoPro Hero 6. Um, 
they have this new action camera called Action 3, and that's supposed to be the competitor to GoPro. So I might look into that just for the sake of pricing because everybody is starting to complain about the GoPro Hero 11. Um, my Hero 6 does do that uh, freezing thing where you have to take the battery out of the GoPro, put it back in the GoPro, and then life goes on. So I know where people coming from when they say their GoPro freezes. My GoPro Hero 6 freezes, but I dealt with it for many years. Um, I bought my GoPro uh, 6 since it first came out, and now we're looking into new action cameras. We'll be right with y'all. It is mayhem on Amazon right now. They actually have the Nik. It's all like the, yep, the Nikio set, the one that I have, yeah. but. You know this set that I got, yeah, right? So this socket set that I have is uh, not the deep socket set. This is the deep socket set for 43 bucks. Yeah, that's 43 Not a bad price. And that is definitely going in the cart. When we went off camera, I also talked about my dad about the, the new Google phone where you can remove stuff from the camera when you take a picture he said he might get it yeah he so let's end the video with this i've been having iphone since iphone came out no let me not it's either iphone 4 or the 5. so you could basically say i had iphone since it came out i had i have owned iphone since 2008 or 9 right yeah. now I had this for a long time so when you are with something for a long time you tend to throw everything else to the side so Samsung came and y'all know Apple was the first smartphone yes. right and then Blackberry tried to do the same thing they didn't get successful because they just wasn't innovative with it. Apple was more innovative than the rest. No. But then Samsung started emerging and then Samsung started getting popular, Android and stuff like that. And I remember when Note was popular, they had Note 1, Note 2, Note 3. Uh, I don't remember what Note actually exploded, but that's when I think Note actually took a downfall. So Samsung Galaxy 21 or 22 is out now. You have yeah. iPhone 14, a whole bunch of different ones. You got iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, 14 Pro, Pro Max. Woo! It's a, it's a bunch of randoms. It's a bunch of iPhones out there. Then you have Google Pixel. Now I'm just talking about the flagships. I'm not talking about all the other smartphones i know it's a million smartphones here's why i am with apple it's basically the ecosystem um i use a macbook pro yep my kids have iphone se yep my wife have an iphone so when we talk about ecosystem we're talking about things like airdrop airdrop i don't have to uh, send the iPhone picture to a text message for them to save it onto their phone or for me to put a photo on my computer or a video which is a large file yes remember that um, all I have to do is hit airdrop and it transfer almost immediately so to its computer yeah if i want to airdrop a large file video sometimes i record some of these videos With on the phone. iphone all i have to do is hit airdrop and it goes right on over yep. but since i'm transferring to google if i transfer to google yep. they have a google chrome and that's all google have google don't have a 
pro book or anything that yeah. you can like, uh, like, transfer files. They don't have no editing. They just have a uh, software. They just have a Google Chromebook. They just have a Chromebook, and I'm pretty sure I can't do much on the Chromebook. Yeah. So, at least a cheap Chromebook. I don't know how how far I can go with a expensive Chromebook. Yeah. Again, to transfer your photos to your computer is like night and day from what I was seeing people doing. So if I take a photo on my Google Plus, I will have to download these different type of softwares and then send it straight over and then blah, 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 blah. Who knows how long that takes. Maybe comment which should my dad get, iPhone 14 or Google Pixel? Yeah, it's more of a personal preference. Yeah. So, also check out Izzy's channel. I will start putting his channel in my descriptions. That way, people can go ahead and check his channel. His channel will basically be DIY. a DIY and toy review channel. Mm -hmm. He will be doing his own gaming channel. But Something. my audience, of course, is not... I don't think y'all are gamers. But I did put on my Xbox... Oh, I did put the Xbox on my channel and yeah, some of y'all did like it <clears throat> so with that being said he's getting into DIY and he wants to do his own uh, toy review so we might be reviewing like toy drones and toy remote control cars and like toy Legos DIY stuff DIY stuff putting bird houses together we already did that we already did that. Like I said, I will link his channel in the description. And um, yeah, so stay tuned. I do have what's in my cart in Home Depot and what's in my cart in Lowe's. That way y'all can know what Black Friday stuff is going on. All right, we'll catch y'all in the next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe.